The number of trampoline parks has grown to more than a thousand around the world. I've been to one here in this area. Um, lots of fun, right. a little hectic, but in this country, believe it or not, they're operating without federal oversight. Yeah, injuries are on the rise and CBS News has confirmed at least six people have actually died in recent years in trampoline parks. Meg Oliver has a report. Trampoline parks are packed on weekends with kids jumping. David Chazen represents more than a dozen people injured at these parks in New Jersey. Look below the screen there. At the bottom right of the screen, a father unknowingly causes what's known as a double bounce. The force of the trampoline coming back up from the father's hop across broke the four-year-old's <gasps> femur. Oh my gosh. Head back. Gymnastics coach Don McPherson has been an expert witness in more than 200 plaintiff cases against trampoline parks. Broken necks, broken backs, dislocated and open fractured elbows, shoulders. These are injuries that seem like military grade. They're all catastrophic injuries. McPherson says the danger lies in the design. Several trampolines are connected with steel cables or chain links under thin padding. As people jump, waves of energy are generated in all directions, which can cause those double bounces that can end in high impact collisions. Emergency room visits from trampoline park injuries have shot up from 2,500 in 2013 to almost 18,000 in 2017. Injuries so severe they can lead to death. At his peak, Rick Sweezy was a world-class gymnast. Other than his children and me that mattered most in his life was his gymnastics. That all changed in 2017 when Rick visited a trampoline park in Virginia with his husband, Nick Scandalius, and their twins. Nick says Rick was jumping on the trampoline when he came down wrong on his foot, stumbled, and hit his head against a thinly padded wall. The C2 vertebra cracked, constricted his airway and his blood flow, paralyzed him. He was over 90% brain dead. Within three minutes, you lost the love of your life. Yep. <laughs> I watched the lights go out in his eyes. In response to the deaths and injuries, the International Association of Trampoline Parks told us there are parks that do not adhere to industry technical standards and do not operate with safety at the forefront of their agendas. The group will launch an initiative this summer to require third party inspections to ensure the safest experience possible. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York. You know, and we were talking, the question jumps out at you. Uh, how do you begin to regulate this? Yeah, well, so when I visited, they had staffers at each barrier, mm -hmm. um, and they only allowed one kid per square. But, you know, well, the kid kids bounces are kids. out of the square. They're bouncing off, and it, I think it's really up to parents to kind of stay alert. I was participating, but the whole time I was kind of on edge watching my kids and, and the other ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so how you perform in there, plus the building materials. Are they using steel sure. in there with these people flying around? Okay, yeah. all right, thanks.